Let's say you have an innovative energy idea that you want to bring to a global market. What if you could have a strong manufacturing sector? What if you could have low taxes, an integrated supply chain, and unmatched R&D capabilities? What if you could connect with a global mass of leadership right in your own backyard? Now, what if you could have it all at once? That's Indiana, the energy opportunity. Duke Energy is a company that tries to incorporate new technologies in its business model. When we thought about the decision to build a coal gasification facility in Indiana, we recognized it was the right place. Working with the state government gave us the confidence to move forward and to commercialize at Edwardsport the world's largest coal gasification facility. Indiana has had a long history of attracting investment. One, because of its location in the U.S. Two, because of the strong business environment. But thirdly, they've had an opportunity to really develop and grow because they're supported not just by state government, not just by a great college and university system, but they're supported by the other business people in the state. Today, we have businesses from all over the world with operations in Indiana. Indiana has always had a core strength of making metal and turning it into products that make the world go round. By harnessing this established capability and combining it with world-class research institutions, exceptional transportation capacity, and an impressively pro-business climate, Indiana is generating opportunities for motivated clean tech players the world over. Interdell uh, was founded in September of 2004 originally as a joint venture between uh, Delphi Automotive Systems and uh, a Florida-based corporation called Enter One. It is in the business of producing high flat-stacked prismatic-shaped lithium-ion batteries for the hybrid and electric vehicle market. I think the first thing that makes Indiana special uh, is its highly skilled workforce. Uh, you can't really make this battery without having a, a tremendous amount of, of knowledge and know-how associated with some of the production processes and some of the really, really important quality control issues, and, and we found the workforce in Indiana to be terrific. Today we have customers in Japan, China, and Korea, as well as in mainland Europe and in Scandinavia and Finland. Access not just to the road network or the airport network, but to the port network as well is going to be critical to our success. And Indiana's central location in the United States makes it ideal. Workforce training can be one of the most expensive component of the startup activities of a company like Brevini. We need people with competence that can work with our equipment and with our products. We need people for several months in our factories in Europe to learn, to teach them and to train them. But the fact that we could get support to help us in this respect was extremely important in our decision to locate in Indiana. Where in the world can you find a critical mass of diverse, clean energy technologies being conceived, funded, and built from the ground up? Where in the world can you connect with a community of global leaders in a vibrant, entrepreneurial environment? Where in the world can you find regulatory, price, and connectivity certainty? The answer is Indiana. Welcome to Indiana. Welcome to the energy opportunity.